Hey guys, this is Howard with In My Life, another one from the Rubber Soul album, another song from John Lennon, of course. Uh, this is a pretty easy song to play, and uh, it's just got a cool little intro thing to it, and then some basic chords, I think one bar chord in the entire song. But of course, it's a beautifully written song. The lyrics are especially uh, nice. And um, so I'm just going to take you through it. And uh, there's two guitars in the song. The rhythm guitar, the, the part that John Lennon is actually playing, is very faint in the background, but I'm going to incorporate that into uh, George's intro part and just kind of show you how to make your way through the song as well as the ending. So what we have on this intro is uh, basically floating between an A chord and an E chord in Lennon's part, uh, or an E7 if you like, which I think sounds really nice. Uh, basically it's wrapped around a classic style that the Beatles played their A chord. Like I've Got a Feeling and uh, a couple of other tunes. Now you don't have to form that full A bar chord if you don't want to. Uh, I just do it because I find it keeps the D and the G string uh, a little bit quieter, okay? Uh, you can also just play it like this if you want. Either way is totally fine. So there's just a tiny pinch of hybrid picking there. You're hitting the open A string with your pick and then I use my second finger to grab the B string which is, of course, at the second fret part of the A chord. And again, you can just play it like that if you want. And then swing down to the uh, fifth fret on the first string, probably with your pinky, most likely. That other way is a big stretch. And that's it. Okay. And then we do a hammer on from the second fret to the third fret on the B string. Swing up to the open E string, or swing down to the open E string if you like and then catch the fourth fret with your pinky. And you can pick it any way you like. It's slow enough that it doesn't really matter. You can do all down strokes if you want or a blend of uh, alternate picking. So we have... And after you've landed that pinky, um, you want all these notes to run together. That's why they're sort of barred off together in the uh, tab but you want to form a big E7 chord. And uh, that is played like so. I'm barring at the second fret from the uh, fifth string on down. And my second finger is on the third fret on the B string. Ring finger is on the fourth fret on the G string. And of course the pinky has already landed at the fourth fret on the first E string. And you get a full six string E7 chord. You just want to do that nice and lightly. You do kind of hit the E string first though, so you want this just like that. So hit the E string first and then follow through with the strums on the chord. So you'll have one, two, three, four. And then we move to the uh, the verse of the song, and the chords being used here are A, E major, F sharp minor, and an A chord with a G in the bass, which is very interesting. And then we've got a D, a D minor, and back to A. So 
let me explain the strumming on that just a little bit, and I'll also explain that odd little chord right there. So we've got A with basically two downstrokes, E with two downstrokes, F sharp minor. So we kind of uh, jump up to that uh, oddball chord, if you will. Two downstrokes on the F sharp minor. And this chord is played by barring, just like a regular A chord, you're barring the B string, the G string, and the D string. The A string is muted out, and uh, I use my second finger to play the third fret on the sixth string, and that gives you an A chord with a G in the bass, a nice little passing chord. And then we move to a D, and that's sort of a down, down, up, down, I think that strumming sequence uh, will get you through that part of the song pretty nicely. So here it is, really slow. Also, you can see on the A chord with the G in the bass that I uh, basically strummed it like this, just to fill out the time a little bit. From the F sharp minor, then it would be. And then we move to the uh, next part, which is an F sharp minor chord again, and we just let it ring for four beats. D chord also for four beats. And then G. And for those two chords, I'm doing down, up, down, up. So we have F sharp minor again, and this time instead of a D, we go to a B7, but it's the same thing, four beats. So the second go around is F sharp minor, B7 and then D minor to A. And again, I'm using that down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. So here's that part nice and slow. And that is basically uh, the song. Now at the end of the song, when you do the final, we land a D minor chord and just let it ring out for the uh, vocal bit. And then we head back to the line. So that at the end is, of course, what was played before. We land the E7, but once we land the E7, we play this. And you can see it on the tab, but basically I'm just holding the chord again, and then give the chord a little sweep, like from the D string down. Take your pinky off, put it back on, and then form the full 
I've got a feeling, A chord. So I kind of strummed through it, you know, again, keeping the time. Uh, but you've only got really enough time to do that. And then you got to go right into the. So there you go, In My Life from the Beatles. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and uh, I might do the harpsichord part on guitar, which is really a piano, as most people know. They slowed the tape down. George Martin played uh, the piano solo. They sped it up. Sounds like a harpsichord, right? And slowing the tape down and having him play that solo also accounts for some of the uh, very quick little licks and lines, especially at the end of it. It's really challenging to play on guitar, and it might be a lot of fun to do a... Uh, video for that. You guys can let me know if you want to, and uh, I'll do it in a separate video. Enjoy.